This episode is brought to you by the Public Investing app. Use the link in the top comment to get up to $70 in free stocks now. Let's talk about it. If you are an AMC ape or you hold any AMC shares or you're looking to, you need to thoroughly understand the Highcroft Mining deal, which AMC just picked up 22% of Highcroft Mining and why that's important. They did this over on March 15th around that time and they bought it at a dollar seven cents and it's currently over the two dollar mark and even this morning in the pre-market it got over the three dollar mark but i want you to thoroughly understand why this is a chess move for amc while others are playing checkers and i want to give a shout out to adam aaron the ceo now let's talk about it first bang on the list and i'm not telling you to buy hold or sell is highcroft mining ticker symbol h y m c now again it got to the two dollar range today it got all the way up to the three dollar range which means that amc Theaters, the 22% stake that they had in the company, they basically picked up a 3x, 2x kind of a move. Now, this is important. What do I mean by 3x, 2x? I mean they doubled their money, if not tripled their money. Now, let's see why this is important. Now, here goes the receipts from Reuters where it says that they picked up basically 22% stake in the company and they paid $27.9 million. Now, Take a look at this. They bought Highcroft Mining shares, and go to receipts again, at a dollar and seven cents each. And when you look at it today, you see it goes to the $2, $3 range, but it still has more potential to run. Does that mean it will run? No, but I want you to understand market caps. I want you to understand why the market cap is so important. Highcroft Mining is a penny stock. The market cap is in the $100 million range. Currently, it has 140.15 million in a market cap, meaning if you added up all of the shares together, then this is what you would have in terms of the worth of the entire share count. Now, when you compare this to a company like AMC or even a company that's way bigger like Apple, it would be much easier for this small company to double, triple, quadruple than it would for most other companies to traditionally double, triple, or quadruple just because of this market cap is so small. Now, they are actually using, and this is what AMC is doing, and Adam Aaron, they're being very strategic. I want you to understand that they are playing chess. They are not playing checkers. What they did was they are trying to leverage many things. They have about 1.8, and this is AMC, they have $1.8 billion that they're calling a war chest that they can deploy to do many things. They can pay down debt. They can acquire new companies like we see with Highcroft Mining, and they can try to transform AMC into a more modern company. You have to understand modern AMC is one of the oldest theater chains basically that exists. Now, they've been around for a very long time, family. So when you understand the market cap, what I want you to understand is, picture this. Imagine that you right now, however, many, however much money you have, let's call it, let's say that you have, I don't know, $1,000. Let's say you have $10,000. Let's say you have $100,000. It would be easier for you to double your money than it would be for someone like Elon Musk to double his money. Now, you may say that he has a great business model and all of these things, but it's going to take him, let's say that Elon Musk has 200 or $300 billion to, right now, it'll take him 200 or 300 more billion to basically double where he is. But you, someone with 5,000, someone with 10,000, even someone with 100,000, you just have to go up 100,000 or 5,000 or 3,000 or wherever you are to double your money. Why? Because the amount of money that you have is significantly smaller. So something like a Highcroft, something like another company that, you know what? We'll see what AMC buys next because you got to understand that they're on the lookout to keep doing this. And you may be asking yourself, can Highcroft double again? Absolutely, it can. Will it? You be the judge. But can it? Because the market cap is so small, you got to be cautious with these small market cap companies. Let's let's be clear here. Any penny stock is always going to be high risk. However, they told us themselves, Adam Aaron, basically, he went on and he talked to CNBC and he said, basically, what they're doing is they're using their retail investor base, the money that they have in that war chest that we talked about, and many other avenues to basically say, okay, we're going to go pick up very distressed companies that are being bankrupt. So if you feel as if you missed the boat on the Highcroft run, which, in my opinion, if you buy low, this seems like a great swing trade. Some people are going to diamond hand it. You be the judge on how you want to play. You be the judge, right? But let's see what Adam Aaron is saying for the future so we can see, okay, this Highcroft thing is not just a one-off deal. It seems as if he wants to do this multiple times 
with more companies. Now, mainstream media, they've been hating, long story short, on AMC buying this gold company because they couldn't attach it. They were saying, yo, why would you buy a gold company when you are a theater chain? Why not go and buy a popcorn company, some other type of popcorn company, or some maybe a fabric company to help make the seats better in the movie theater? They couldn't put their mind around it. But Adam Aaron said, look, it wasn't about the gold company or the mining company. It was about the money, which makes total sense to any investor. Let's check this out. I thought this was a great move from the point of view that I'm a gold bug. Great move from the point of view that, hey, listen, why shouldn't companies try to figure out attractive ways to make money? But I also felt that uh, if you didn't have such a strong share base of people who really love you, that it might have been interpreted as something that was too different from your core. Well, you know, we knew we were going to take some flack, and we did it. Uh, I think I read uh, comments that it was bizarre, it was random, it was stupid, it was idiotic. Except there was one thing that we were certain of. We were going to make a lot of money. Now, you wouldn't think that the normal court company... That's what I'm talking it. about, Adam Aaron, an investor. He said, look, people said we were stupid. They said we were dumb. But you know what we knew? That this was going to make a lot of money. And it did make a lot of money. And it's continuing to make money. Again, this does not mean that you need to go and buy, hold, or sell. However, you do need to thoroughly understand that them investing into Highcroft Mining was a pure money play. They found it distressed. They found that they needed about $19 million or else they were going to go bankrupt. So then what did AMC do? They put it almost $30 million into it and they gave them some room to run with and they gave them some liquidity. They needed the liquidity because you know what? Liquidity, long story short, for those of you who may not totally understand that, it means having the ability to either buy or sell quickly, easily. It's having money. Like that's why they say cash is very liquid because it moves very fluidly. It gets around and it's not a problem. No one has a problem getting rid or getting in more cash. So you can think of it just like that, highly liquid, right? People accept it and you also accept it. It's, it can flow, right? So let's keep going and let's see another part of this because this is important that they are really actually thinking about you, AMC. The majority of the shareholders of AMC are retail investors and they are thinking we have such a strong following, like a cult-like following, that what we can do as AMC, the people in the background, right, the people on the board, the people who, the CEO, for example, what they are saying is if we go invest into a company that is heavily distressed and nearing bankruptcy and they only need $19 million and they're a low market cap company, right, we talked about this, that $140 million worth of this company as it stands. This is after the run. Keep that in mind. This is after the run where it's 140. They got it when it was even way lower than that. So with this being said, they say, hmm, all of our retail investors, our supporters are going to also invest into this. So now I want you to understand this. He said in this interview that I'm watching right here on CNBC that they are looking for another company to do a similar thing that they did with Highcroft. Will it be a mining company? Will it be a theater related company? We shall see as time goes on, but you have to understand this deal is a deal to make money so they can pay down some of that debt and have more cash and just increase the ability of AMC to make money. We love to see it because they do have a lot of debt that we want to see them crush and they're getting ready to start that journey. They actually started it already. Let's keep it going. Theater company is gold mining or silver mining. But in this case at Highcroft, we found a company that was exactly like AMC a year ago, where it had great assets, in this case, silver and gold in the ground, millions of ounces. Uh, and, but it had, it had a cash squeeze, it had a liquidity problem. And our company lived through that. We were expert in raising money. And sure enough, it's only two weeks after we did the Highcroft mining deal, we announced Friday night that we arranged or helped to arrange for $195 million of equity to come into the mining company in two weeks. It's already a huge success story. That's what I'm talking about. Huge success story with them investing into Highcroft Mining. They made a lot of money here, and they're saying that it's not even done, and they're looking to basically get into another deal that is very, very similar to the deal they did with my with uh, 
Highcroft. So shout out to AMC for that. Now, you already know what time it is, baby. If you are an AMC ape and an AMC holder, please put a gorilla in the chat so everybody can know where you at, baby. But again, if you can't handle the heat of these hot stocks and stay out of the kitchen and consider investing in the index funds, hit the Discord link in the top comments so you can be up on the plays as early as we are. And you can join the options class, stock options for beginners, and the technical analysis for absolute beginners. There are so many people who want to learn these things, but they found that it's actually quite challenging to learn. You know what? We brought it to the ground level so you can pick it up and then become a beast like I know you can. I love y'all, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.